Picture this, a world bathed in the soft glow of nostalgia, where the boundaries between reality and the extraordinary begin to blur. Close your eyes for a moment and let your thoughts wander back to that first encounter with the timeless classic, Escape to Witch Mountain. Remember the flicker of excitement as the opening scenes unfolded, drawing you into a tale that was both enigmatic and captivating. Perhaps it was the way the story unraveled, like a hidden treasure map revealing its secrets one by one, that left an indelible mark on your memory. Did you find yourself spellbound by the enigmatic siblings, Tony and Tia, as they embarked on a journey that defied the norms of the world they knew? Maybe it was the thrilling chase scenes that had your heart racing, or the moments of wonder as the siblings displayed their mysterious powers. Whether it was your first time witnessing their extraordinary abilities or the umpteenth, there's something undeniably magical about revisiting that cinematic gem. And now, as the reels of time turn, let's delve into some captivating tidbits about the movie that may have eluded your knowledge. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes that breathe life into the characters, to the creative decisions that gave the story its unique flavor, there's a wealth of captivating information waiting to be uncovered. So, my fellow seeker of cinematic tales, fasten your seatbelt as we journey through the lesser-known corridors of Escape to Witch Mountain. Get ready to be pleasantly surprised by the twists and turns that shape the movie into the beloved masterpiece it is today. It is today. It is today. Escape to Witch Mountain, sibling chemistry shines on and off-screen in the mystical world of cinema, where the lines between reality and imagination blur. The 1975 movie Escape to Witch Mountain emerges not only as a tale of enchantment but also as a catalyst for unforeseen connections. Amidst the magic and wonder, a unique camaraderie blossomed, forever altering the lives of two young actors. Ike Eisenman, portraying the spirited Tony, and Kim Richards, the enchanting Tia, had their destinies intertwined from the moment they crossed paths during a screen test for the movie. Eisenman's keen eye for resemblance led him to believe in their destined casting as siblings, a conviction that would resonate throughout their careers. Beyond the silver screen, their connection flourished, solidifying their status as on-screen siblings and real-life friends. Their undeniable chemistry extended beyond the Witch Mountain trilogy, with the duo also sharing the roles of brother and sister in the CBS movie of the week, Devil Dog, The Hound of Hell in 1978. Their natural rapport injected authenticity into their performances, creating a synergy that transcended mere acting. But the magic of Escape to Witch Mountain extended beyond its young protagonists. The indelible Eddie Albert reprised his role as Jason O'Day in the 1982 television pilot, sequel, Beyond Witch Mountain. His return, a singular feat among the cast, showcased his dedication to the world crafted by the original film. As the reels of time unwind, Escape to Witch Mountain remains not only a cinematic gem but also a testament to the power of faith and friendship. Eisenman and Richard's shared journey from that fateful screen test echoes the enduring impact of their performances. And as the legacy of the movie continues to captivate new generations, the bonds forged both on and off the screen remind us that sometimes, destiny casts its spell in the most enchanting ways. Ace, 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 ace. The enigmatic Witch Mountain Flyer, a forgotten relic of sci-fi cinema in the realm of cinematic memorabilia, few items attain the elusive status of true rarity. One such artifact is the Witch Mountain Flyer, a frisbee graced with the movie's appellation and an image depicting a celestial vessel. Amidst the whirlwind of merchandise that followed the 1975 film Escape to Witch Mountain, this frisbee stands as an obscure reminder of the movie's cultural footprint. The Pinewoods Orphanage, a pivotal setting in the film, was no mere fabrication of Hollywood's imagination. Instead, it was brought to life by the Peninsula School of Creative Education, nestled in Menlo Park, California. The sprawling mansion, a relic of 1880s architecture, underwent a metamorphosis into an educational institution in 1925. As intriguing as its history was the aura of spectral tales surrounding it, tales that were cleverly magnified in the movie's initial press releases. But perhaps the most intriguing figure of all was not human, nor ghostly, but Ursine. Bruno the Bear, a cinematic companion to the young protagonists, boasted an alertness quota of just 10 minutes daily, a curious constraint that the film's production team skillfully synchronized with the two-hour work cycle of the child actors. Such meticulous coordination underscores the myriad details woven into the crafting of this sci-fi fantasy. In the annals of cinema, Escape to Witch Mountain remains a cultural touchstone. Its enigmatic frisbee, the echoing corridors of Peninsula School's mansion, and the strategic slumber of Bruno the Bear all contribute to the intricate tapestry of this 1975 classic. As time marches forward, these captivating curiosities persist as whispered secrets of a bygone era. An era. Greenish bruise and intense punch, behind the scenes of Escape to Witch Mountain fight scene in the annals of cinematic lore, a film's production often holds hidden tales of toil and triumph that remain concealed from the eager eyes of its audience. The 1975 movie Escape to Witch Mountain is no exception, boasting its own cache of intriguing anecdotes. One such nugget hails from a pivotal fight scene between characters Tony and Truck. Amidst the stage skirmish, Dermot Downs, who portrayed Tony, unwittingly delivered a forceful punch that veered off course, the unintended target. A bat, clutched by Ike Eisenman, who played Truck. 
The collision was so fierce that it bestowed upon Ike a subtle yet persistent reminder, a greenish bruise beneath his left eye. Despite the meticulous ministrations of the makeup department, this hidden mark of the exchange emerged from the shadows in certain frames, a testament to the visceral authenticity of the on-screen tussle. The dichotomy of the magical and the mundane extends beyond the confines of the film's narrative. Step into the present day, and a captivating connection persists. The marionettes that once danced within the playroom sequence have not faded into obscurity. Instead, they've found a new lease on life at the venerable Bob Baker Marionette Theater, ensconced in the heart of Los Angeles, California. These miniature performers are imbued with a sense of history, a tangible link to the cinematic marvel of yesteryears. Their continued enchanting performances have earned the theater its well-deserved recognition as a historic landmark, a testament to the enduring allure of puppetry that transcends both time and medium. Amid the enchantment, the film's protagonists weren't the only ones entangled in a web of challenges. Behind the curtain of whimsy and wonder, a formidable feline named Winky took center stage as the primary cat performer. Yet, Winky's demeanor proved far from accommodating. Her tempestuous temperament and capricious nature posed a formidable hurdle, particularly for Ike Eisenman, who shared many a scene with the feisty feline. Ike's commitment to authenticity came at a cost, as he endured a barrage of cuts and scratches in his pursuit of cinematic excellence. This behind-the-scenes struggle stands as a testament to the dedication and perseverance required to bring magic to life on the silver screen. In Escape to Witch Mountain, every frame is a tableau of mystery and intrigue, a convergence of on-screen enchantment and off-screen tribulations. These glimpses behind the curtain, of bruised eyes, enduring marionettes, and an obstinate feline, serve as a poignant reminder that the stories woven into the fabric of cinema are as much about the journey of creation as they are about the tapestry of the narrative itself. Narrative itself. Narrative itself. Amid the winds of change that swept through Disney after the passing of its visionary founder, Walt Disney, the studio sought a new direction, a darker edge. Enter Escape to Witch Mountain, a film that signaled Disney's shift toward the shadowy and mysterious. Director John Ho, noted for his work on the eerie The Legend of Hell House, was tapped by Disney executives who had been intrigued by his knack for the macabre. But within the enigmatic atmosphere of Escape to Witch Mountain, a harmonious mystery unfolds, guided by the composition of Johnny Mandel. While Mandel composed much of the movie's evocative score, a moment of whimsy was brought to life by the pre-existing notes of Richard Heyman's skipping along. This jovial track danced through the air as the toys in the playroom came to life. However, a discordant note arose as music rights issues plagued the scene, causing its excision from early home video releases. A silent spectacle, a casualty of legal courts. Kim Richards and Ike Eisenman, the young stars who portrayed the film's protagonists, bore the weight of destiny not only in 1975 but also in the sequel Return from Witch Mountain. Interestingly, these two would again make a cameo appearance years later in Race to Witch Mountain. A subtle nod to the past, Eisenman assumed the role of Sheriff Antony in the bar scene, while Richards donned the guise of Tina, a waitress. An interwoven tapestry of past and present, characters named Tony and Tia, akin to their roles in the original and its sequel, Bridge Generations. In the hinterlands of Disney's creative evolution, Escape to Witch Mountain stands as a testament to the studio's audacious pursuit of darkness, anchored by its resonant melodies. Mandel's compositions, Heyman's playful echoes, Ho's directorial prowess, they converged in a tale that revealed a new facet of Disney's multifaceted identity. And so, in the heart of this enigma, the collision of music rights, directorial choices, and the passage of time coalesced to shape the narrative. The children of Witch Mountain, their names echoing across decades, bore witness to the evolution of a studio, a story, and a melody. In this corner of cinematic history, shadows and melodies intertwined, weaving a tale that was both timeless and emblematic of an era. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey, I invite you to take a moment to traverse back in time to the enchanting realm of Escape to Witch Mountain. Just as the characters Tia and Tony discovered their extraordinary abilities, perhaps you too have unearthed a trove of memories and emotions that this movie has etched into your own story. Milky Way in the tapestry of our lives, certain films become threads that weave through our experiences, leaving an indelible mark. Did you ever find yourself gazing at the night sky, wondering if you might secretly possess powers beyond the ordinary? Or did you imagine embarking on a journey like Tia and Tony, embracing the unknown with both trepidation and exhilaration? These are the whispers of connection that move us like escape to which mountain ignite within us. So, whether you first encountered this film in the cozy warmth of a family movie night or ventured upon it during your solo exploration, I encourage you to share your thoughts, memories, and the emotions it still stirs within you. Reflect on how this tale of friendship, discovery, and courage resonated with your own narrative. Unearth those gems of nostalgia and share them with us, a testament to the enduring power of cinema to stir the heart and mind. Thank you for allowing me to accompany you on this expedition through the realms of memory and imagination.
Your time and engagement are cherished as they breathe life into these digital words. Until our next odyssey, may your journey be as captivating as the stories that have shaped you. Farewell, fellow wanderer, and remember, the echoes of escape to which mountain continue to dance across time, awaiting the touch of your unique perspective. Shooting star, 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 star.